This stop is Gangnam. Gangnam. The doors are on your right. You can transfer to the Shinbundang line. Foreign language announcements can be heard almost everywhere you go around town. Ever wondered who these voices belong to and how they came to be there? Today we meet Joe Nowell, a voice actor from the U.S. who has been featured on voice recordings for commercials, Here, Big Easy, Full Core Design, educational content, movies and video games, Fantasy, Battle Royale, for the past six years here in Korea. So could you introduce yourself briefly? Uh, my name is Joe Nowell. And I've um, been living in Korea for several years now. I'm currently a voice artist and um, part-time actor and formerly a graphic designer. I kind of lost my passion for doing graphic design. So I just happened to do an audition for some uh, voice acting work. Doing these kind of video narrations and uh, voice acting work for animations and video games. It kind of uh, it, it brought some more excitement. I've been doing voiceovers for about six years now. Samsung Engineering builds a healthier, safer, and better world. With the smooth movement of the saddle and advantage of pedaling symmetrically. A brand new sports soundware. Run up. The best thing I like about voice acting is that it's fun. So you just go in, you do your thing, and then you're done. But as you're doing it, you're having fun, and you're like, oh my god, I can't believe that they're paying me to do this. Act like a villain in a video game, or you're paying me to act like an old man. I mean, you know, how fun is that? So it's like you're, you're young again. You, you can use your imagination, and you're pretending like you're, you know, you're the bad guy, you're the hero. I just did it for fun at first. And after that, I kept on getting calls back. There are companies such as LG and Samsung and Doosan, so they have a lot of corporate videos, promo videos, commercials. Sometimes I have a contract with a company, like an education or a media company, and they need English learning materials. So they give me scripts and I record it from home. Sometimes it, it depends. It depends on the season or the month if there's a lot of work. But uh, if there's a, a demand for it, yes. You know, you send in your audition. I have a home studio and I record my uh, sample. Sure, yes, but tasty, no. I will start with his eyes. Those are my favorite. And I just, uh, text it or uh, email it to them and I just hope for the best. I'm gonna send it to you, tell me, and then I'll re-record it, okay? All right, okay. I ha have a little group. We kind of exchange good information within that uh, group. Sometimes they just wanna pay them a very low fee. And so our group is you know, trying to um, inform people who are wanting to get into the business and tell them, it's like, hey, um, if you're doing a commercial, you should ask for this much. If you're doing a promo, you should ask for this much. Uh, you should negotiate like this. It's good to have friends because in this line of work, you're very, you're very, very alone. And uh, sometimes an agent, they can look for gigs for you, but to always depend on them, it's, that's, that's not gonna feed you. So you have to you know, present yourself and go out and establish you know, contacts with people, you know, maybe companies that are looking for voice actors or studios. So it's, it's kind of like the stock market. It, it goes down, but it, eventually it's gonna bounce back up. So there's no kind of guarantees, but the best you can do on the downtime is just you know, market yourself. So I collect all kinds of videos that I've done and then I make compilations and then I release it on uh, Facebook and LinkedIn. Sometimes I go on YouTube and get inspired by other voice actors in the States. They've been you know, doing it for a long time and you know, you're watching professionals you know, do their work. So I get inspired by hearing them and seeing them and seeing how they so exercise and how they work the and what kind of characters that they can do. I like waking up and like, Mm, what's the adventure today? I'm gonna be doing this. I'm not gonna be going to the office and you know, uh, just feeling like I'm on this merry-go-round that's going nowhere. Sometimes I can't believe I'm getting paid to do this. I'm getting paid to have fun. Who, who pays people to have fun? I wanna do something that I really enjoy. So I've been doing it and it's been fun.